open of your Gmail that you can access is the contacts page. And you can control a whole bunch of different contact options and create groups. And you can get there by just clicking on mail. And then once you're in here, there's in the upper left hand corner, the Pensbury P and directly under it, it says mail and there's a drop down menu to contacts. If you're going to send an email and I was to hit compose and I was going to type two, uh, there's already groups set up across the district. If I was going to email everyone at Charles Beam, I can just type in CB at PensburySD.org and you'll notice that that's a group. Uh, CB underscore six. I could do CB underscore eight, CB underscore seven. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different pre-made groups, but you may want to make your own groups to emails that uh, to people that you send emails to all the time. So if you go to mail and then contacts, what you can do is you have different things that are here. Uh, my contacts, that would be anybody's phone numbers that I have, most contacted people, uh, the people that I send emails to the most, and then it also has other contacts, people that I've just really just sent e any email to or have had communication with via email, the directory, which includes everyone in the entire district, and then import contacts allows you to upload files and contacts you have from other email systems. And the other option down here, the last one would be new group. So if I want to have a group, so if I want to call this uh, project, I type it in and I click OK. And now that has been added to the top underneath of my contacts. And from here, you have some different options. But the first thing you're going to need to do is add people. So it's a little person with a plus symbol. And if you click on it, it just gives you a, a text box. So I'm going to add people that I'm working on the project with. So I'd start typing in their names and I can start adding them in all at once to this. And then I just hit add when I have all the people that I want in there. And now this has three people in here. And now what bunch more stuff you can do at the top. So if I wanted to add more people to this list, I can type in their names and I can add them to my group. Uh, and then I can as well, I can email the entire group from up top. So if I just hit email, it will then open up an email that I can type in the message and I can send to them. It also has more over here where I can delete a contact from the group, I can rename it, I can delete the group, uh, I can then also print this group, uh, I can do a whole bunch of other things from there. One of the other options that you have is if you have a group and you want to move people to various groups, so if I do uh, project overview, I said that I wanted to have some of these people be in, so what I can do is I can say that I want Courtney and Roseanne to be a part of the project over group. So I can look at all the groups here, check off their names, and then I can then check off project overview and apply. And now they are also in project overview. And this allows you to kind of make groups that you're going to want on your own. 